welcome to the second part of the video about how to use a pendulum. I will show you a few examples of how to do the readings. The astral charts used in this video you can download for free from Zbigniew John Popko's website. I will give you the link down below this video. At the moment there is no English version of the astral charts. But luckily there is already uh, one video on Popco TV YouTube channel translated to English explaining the astral chart number uh, zero. But in the future there will be more videos translated to English as well as uh, the English version of the astral charts. I hope this video will be helpful for you. But if you want to see the astral chart number zero explained in details, I really recommend you to check the video on Popco TV YouTube channel. You will find there a lot of amazing knowledge and a lot of in informations. Okay, so let's get started. So what you need apart from the astral charts is a pendulum, a string and something as counterweight. Thanks to this you can grasp your pendulum more comfortably and another thing you don't need to hold it too tightly in your fingers. Without this you would need to hold it really tight to stop it sliding down in your fingers. And the point is to hold it a little bit uh, loose so it can move in your fingers freely. The author of the astral charts suggests a rather short distance between the pendulum and uh, your fingers up to two centimeters if if i remember correctly before you start your actual journey with the readings Zbigniew john popko suggests to do some exercise the idea of this exercise is to let your pendulum do some back and forward back and forward movement to put your pendulum into the move, you use your conscious will, but uh, later on the movement should be without using your conscious will. It should be automatic. Let's say you can watch TV, but your pendulum and your hand is still doing this unconscious movement back and forward back and forward just when you start this exercise you might struggle a little bit but after some practice uh, you should be doing this quite easily and one, once this happens that means you are ready to go to the astral charts and do the actual readings. The readings with the astral charts is one of the forms of contact with spiritual world. That's why it's important to keep our vibrations as high as possible while doing the readings. You can check your vibration here on this scale from 0 to 12 and uh, from 9 and above is spiritual space between 6 and 9 is a higher energetic space and 6 is a total minimum for doing the readings but the readings from dimension 6 might be not as precise as the readings from dimension 9 or above hey you you, uh, why don't you stop boring people with these talks about astral charts and all this stuff? You better do some workout. 
instead with me. You're so skinny, man. <laughs> so skinny. Okay, mate, but you are actually spoiling my video now. Why don't you make your own video instead? Yeah, yeah I've actually played in one video already. If you haven't seen the dodgy boyfriend yet, you should definitely check her out, mate. <laughs> check her out. I played there with that lovely blonde girl, you know. By the way, I'm still looking forward to getting her money. I'm really happy for you, but you are still spoiling my video. Why don't you just disappear or, I don't know, disperse yourself or something? Yeah, I actually heard about that old dispersion technique. You can replace with this, you know, that uh, chakra based energetic structure, uh, stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you see, you see, I know something, I know something, mate. don't believe in me. And you actually think I'm too stupid to do this, yeah? You think I can't do this, yeah? I can see this in your eyes, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you are still talking, you see this in your eyes. Yeah, but I can prove it, yeah. I can prove it, I can do it. Show me what you got. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I can prove it. Just watch me. Yeah? Okay, let's uh, let's just let's just continue. Okay, let's say you wanna check some used car you find a car on internet and you want to check this particular car maybe it's mechanical condition or if you want uh, you can check how much you're gonna like it in general so let's say 50 percent is like so so it's not bad it's not it's not best it's just there it's just uh, it's just some car 70% is like you can say okay is this is this is a nice one it's rather it's rather nice but from 80% you can say it's a really really good car 100% is the best one you can get on the market somewhere there for your money and going to the left the more to the left, the worse it's gonna be. I'm gonna check some car that I saw on the street uh, before. Like I said, the first movement of your pendulum is with using your conscious will, but only the first movement. And when it's ready uh, to go to the reading, it starts doing diagonal moves uh, to the right. So my reading is 80% and even if I forced my pendulum to go to the right it's showing me to go back to the left to the value of 80% but uh, this is uh, this is uh, my readings I mean the movements of my pendulum what is important because many people uh, have different moves of the pendulum it's all up to you what is comfortable for you and what is clear for you for example uh, many people or maybe even uh, most of people uh, they do reading like um, the pendulum first is doing circle movements uh, to the right and the closer it is to the proper value the circles are getting smaller smaller and turn into 
uh, back and forward, back and forward movements. And when you cross, the proper value is doing the cir circles to the left. Something like something like this. Yeah, so it's all up to you. It's your inner agreement with your uh, pendulum. The same way you can check any meditation on YouTube, any esoteric content or maybe some esoteric uh, channels. So 50% uh, will be neutral for your spiritual development. 75% will be something that will help you significantly and 25% something uh, that is gonna worsen your spiritual development significantly. Let's say 10% that is gonna stop you, something that is gonna stop you for the rest of your life. And is very useful, very helpful to check every meditation actually before you go into uh, this meditation because uh, once you play this meditation once you get into it you can get some energetic blockades some energetic codes that are gonna stop you for the rest of your life like i like i said it's all all depends on uh, the intentions on, of someone who created uh, this, for example, sound meditation or who is conducting uh, some meditation, some voice meditation. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, very important to be uh, cautious. Yes, yeah, so you can keep going and go higher and higher with your spiritual development, with your consciousness. And on this astral chart, I'm gonna show you, uh, let's say, different kind of readings where you have some frame. This astral chart is called communication port. And here you can check somebody's attitude towards you. So here we've got neutral, same like, here like 50% and there we have acceptance, um, respect, here we've got unity and in general the more to the right the better it is. From here uh, it means somebody really really likes you and the more to the left the worse it is. Here we've got a dislike, a reluctance, uh, energetic hostility, spiritual hostility, and here we've got uh, death. So this means someone really wishes you death. And uh, what's important, even when we check that somebody's attitude towards us is somewhere here on the left we still should be positive towards uh, that person if we think of uh, spiritual de development but it doesn't mean uh, we can't uh, protect ourselves uh, in any way actually we always should protect ourselves okay so let's say somebody's approach uh, somebody's attitude towards me is between dislike and acceptance because usually people are not so uh, hundred percent stable it usually depends on situations uh, on, in some situations uh, some someone might uh, dislike me and in some other situations the same person uh, can accept me for example so let's say just some uh, fake uh, fake reading this time 
So we can start from, from the middle and in this case this in this case the movement of my pendulum will be from here to the left and to the right and to the left and so on yeah so it's worth to keep in mind that some sometimes we have some frame it's not always like just one single value and and that's it okay i think that that will be everything uh, for this video if you have any questions you can write a comment below the video if you already uh, have some experience with the astral charts and uh, you want to share anything uh, yeah feel welcome because uh, that will be very helpful for people who are just starting their journey with all of this okay so i wish you a good day or good night and see you in the next uh, video man i had you feel so i'm back i didn't want to embarrass you in front of all those people my body i need to say it you should dress better because man what is this what is this you see me i got that style everybody wants you should follow my example I'm so cool.